We're at CES. It may not look like it, but we're at one of the coolest booth, booths you'll see here at this trade show. We're with Joseph Hurry of Monarch Power, correct? correct? And what what's up here? Oh, it's a very cool, well, may I say hot solar awning, because it's cool, we're under the shade, and it's very hot because it also produces hot water. At the same time, it gives you electricity. So it's a three-in-one. Wow. And you can install it yourself at a very low cost without the extra cost of getting permits, uh, designing the system, or even improving a rooftop. I think rooftop is the worst place to put solar panels. And why is that? Well, it's expensive. You need so many permits that it's going to tie you down for months. And uh, you can't do it yourself because the roof, you're afraid it will leak water. And so uh, doing an awning, which is you bolt these things by yourself into the two by four, and, uh, and then you just need to drill a hole, get the hot water into the house, and at the same time, the electricity, we call it microinverter included in that. So you generate 120 volt AC power that you can plug directly into your power socket. You don't need to guide it to a, uh, the power panel itself. That's powerful because normally you'd need an electrician and permits with the electrician well, and all that stuff, right? Yeah, but I still advise that you should get a plumbing person. Yeah. Plumbing is not something that is easy and you can blame somebody else in case it leaks water. Well, now from a cost perspective, I mean, you know, on a dollar per water, a dollar per uh, uh, BTU, I guess, of, of uh, water, I mean, is this cost effective? Well, let me just tell you, each of these panels produce 300 watts of electricity. I sell them CS special price as $450. So you talk about $1.50 per watt, which is about a, a cheaper than the retail price of the usual solar panel. Now, if you count the 500 watts of heat that is going to produce for you, the per watt cost is about 70 cents per watt. Okay. Now, if you install it by, say, Solar City, it would cost four to five dollars, which is a lot more. And most part of it, two thirds of it, go into permits, mm -hmm. go into things like design, I mean, the marketing costs. It costs four thousand dollars to acquire a customer. Yeah. So it's really, you know, I, I hope that everyone at home will start with one panel rather than they require you to do four kilowatts. Right. Right. And it would cost twenty thousand dollars right there. Uh, uh, another secret I want to tell you, you want to go small because a smaller system get more tax credit from the state government. Okay. And uh, you can start small and you cut away all the middleman, the installer and the profit margin and the permitting cost. You can really get it down to, uh, you know, a dollar per watt and it pays for itself uh, even without the federal and the state tax credit in two years. Well, that's incredible. Well, you've, you've, it sounds like you've really broken the code. And right. I think it's important you know, for the viewers out there to realize that uh, uh, you, you're a professor of uh, electrical engineering. And, uh, and so the science behind this is something that's very solid. Well, science is very important. But you think about, say, computer. You have to design the computer for the people. Uh, for example, I think you know Steve Jobs has won the war in designing a computer that people like. Same case for solar power. You have to design it so that it's simple and low cost and also beautiful and uh, as well as very functional. So these four very important aspects, I'm designing it beyond my scientist uh, background to really have my artist background also uh -huh. to do it so that the people would be able to get this benefit uh, just very easy. You can just turn it on, uh, you know, plug and play, mount it, plug and play. Very simple. Well, and you know, that does go to that benefit that we didn't even talk about, and that is yeah. the fact you have an awning now, right? Yeah, I have an awning, <laughs> and you know, I think if you have beautiful solar panel, why put it on the rooftop, nobody can see it? Uh -huh. Why puncture your roof with the possibility of water leaking through it? And you have to provide all these very strong structure to support your solar panel. While the solar panel here supports itself, uh, it ties directly to the two by four, so it's very, very strong. Well, and you know, I think that the other thing that drew me into this booth, and we'll look at that in a second, but the thing that uh, drew me to you was this whole idea of you're doing this, it's a bigger, bigger picture than just solar panels like this. Correct. My passion is really to help people all over the world to live a comfortable life and a renewable lifestyle through the use of my invention. So I have a lot bigger picture 
including I want to supply what people lack the most. You know what lacks they lack the most is not necessarily electricity, water. water clean water. Right. And also uh, climate control, heating and cooling, and habitation. And the third aspect is food. In this case, it's not just you know the calories you consume, but also the healing effect of food. Mm -hmm. And the fourth aspect that I'm very interested in is uh, information in terms of entertainment and education and communication. And the fifth aspect I'm very interested in is transportation, both the public and the private transportation. Now, to make a long story short, this is the acronym called WAFIT, W-A-F-I-T. Okay. And I want to help people all over the world by inventing things in water desalination, in you know using heat to produce chill, mm -hmm. uh, and also transportation. I do electric vehicle also. Okay. Yeah. I want to uh, go over there now and, and take a look at uh, how you got to Las Vegas. Sure, I'll be glad to show you. Okay. So Harry, tell us how you got here. I drove my Tesla, a pure electric car, all the way from Phoenix to here. Well, I have to find charging station, but I could have used some of the solar power to charge my car. But it probably would take too long because this generates only 1.25 kilowatt of power. Uh, and my Tesla can store 52 kilowatt hour of energy. It would take 40 hours, so it's obviously not very practical. Also, it creates a wind drag, so I took it off when I drove it here. But the, the, now the kind of the practical aspect of this, though, is if you had a backyard, you could put this in the backyard, right? Yeah, that's how I think about it. Uh, I want to make solar power beautiful and also very lightweight. I can't use glass and I can't use aluminum. Uh, so the way I did it is to, through the process of the design and also thinking about the manufacturing process, create solar panel that is one fourth the weight of the glass-based solar panel. So it's easy to fold it up. How you deal with the wind, when you are very windy, you return to a horizontal position. When it's more windy, you fold it up like an umbrella. All right? So we can. It all happens automatically, right? It, uh, well, at this point, you still have to fold it yourself because it's a smaller system. Uh, but uh, in the future, when we produce one which is much bigger, it will be automatic. And it will be much stronger. So it'll at least give you an alert that you have to fold it up? Uh, well, uh, there are processes you, you can give an alert and then you have to go out there just like your awning. Yeah. You have to just pull it down, right? And it's, uh, I mean, clearly this is the first time you've displayed this in a public setting, right? Uh, I've shown it before in Arizona, but okay. this is the first time outside of Arizona I've shown this. Yeah. So you're going to show us something else? Yes. Okay, we'll just follow you. Now, in the open situation, the solar panel is like that. And this one folds upward. And uh, in order to put it in your backyard, it's more practical to have it folded downward. And you can see the solar cells are facing outside. So in high wind, you practically can fold it so that you, it's wind resistant. Mm -hmm. Also, in order to tie it down in high wind, we've invented what is called a solar lotus chair. It's filled with water and it's so beautiful because it's transparent and you can put lights in it and you would enjoy having a picnic underneath this beautiful lotus uh, 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 mobile unit. And it has a table too. Is that you're coming with the table someday? Or? Put in the table, or you can just uh, you know can see each other with uh, you know just across without a table. And the table can hide berries too. Oh. So if you get in case you want to have a, a grid tie, not grid tie, you're out in the countryside. Then what you do is that you put solar cell underneath the uh, solar. Uh, uh, you put the berries underneath the table. Okay, so it's a great product. Yes. How do you get it? Well, you can go online. Go to uh, monarch-power.com slash products and then you'll find it on sale 10% off for the solar awning and 20% off for the Lotus Mobile. And it'll just show up on your doorstep? Huh? Yes, I'll deliver uh, particularly for the awning which I think people should try out uh, to the product and without charging you for the delivery. And you'll drive it uh, to me with your Lotus, right? Oh no, no, that's uh, <laughs> Extra charge? Uh, well, the Lotus Mobile, I would have to charge extra yeah, for, okay. tra uh, for shipping. Okay. But I really want you to try out the uh, awning first because this is so Amazing. cool, yeah. you know, so cheap and also uh, so beautiful.
Excellent. Well, uh, appreciate your time, Joseph. Thank Thanks. you. Thank you.